Good morning, guys. Hi, guys. Hello. Chai con pilara, Mr. Hmm. Abhishek Radhi and Shubham Mishra. Good morning, Shubhangi. I love that chirpy morning. Yes, all of you, welcome to the session, the 15 minute editorial. Yes, hey Rashi, Pratham, Ojasvi, Pranjal Agarwal, Payal Sina. Aaj kisi ka birthday hai? Anybody? Devansh, hey. Hi guys, yes. All right, so we are going to start the session now. And before that, I would just like to say, hope everything is good at your end. Hope you all are safe, you all are doing good. And Jo could be, uh, yes, Devansh, hi Pratibha. Ha, 11 ko hota hai, Shubham, correct, samaj gai mein. Nana, cold drink, cold drink. Abhi to corona ki wajay se gale ko warm rakhna hai, warm. Okay, all of you, once again, welcome to the session and we are going to start it right now. So please fasten your seat belts, get set and uh, yes, Parth Sarthi. Okay, Parth Sarthi, good. Fine. Um, Piyush Rati is not doing good. It's uh, in as bad a mess as the other places, but then that's okay. We'll, uh, this too shall pass, as I keep saying. Shubham Mishra Chai, definitely. Aadhar ki, Aadhar card ki photo koi mat bhejna mujhe, meri apni Aadhar card ki photo itni kharaab hai, ki police wale bhi dekke mana kar dhenge, ki aapko to nahi le rahe hum. Matlab, inko to hum, uh, isme bhi nahi rakh lehen, uh, lock up mein. Aastha, meri taraf se lag to hai nahi, because I think yaha pe bhoat strong dikha raha hai Wi-Fi. Akanksha, good. Part Sarthi, good. Thikha, chalo, welcome to the sessions, guys. Aap log new hai, isle aapko welcome kar rahi extra. Alright. So, as we, uh, as we all know, in this particular session, what do we do? We cherry pick an editorial from either the New York Times or the Guardian. Today, it's the Guardian's body. Quick announcements, some ongoing, uh, these things, what do you call them? Batches. So, with our experts, you can see the veterans right up there. Iconic Cat 2021, which is a one-on-one -on -one session. So, as I said, Iconic Mac, you have to classes from a single educator, single student. Iconic means once or twice a week, you can reach out and connect with the mentors for some kind of guidance, wherever you are lacking. Ask a Doubt feature, the weekly scholarship test, which is, of course, quite good. And over to the topic. Yes, Akanksha, I know you're preparing for CAT 21. That's okay. No need to panic. Rashi Agarwal, great to see you too. Priya Gupta, yes. Yes, Ayush Gupta, I'll be posting the uh, class schedule immediately after this. Okay? Yes. Are we all set now? Okay, guys. Uh, yes, Naman. I think this is a better layout. Everything is clearer than what we used to do earlier. Now, look here. This is something on nature. There is a little bit of philosophy. How does he start the passage? Take a look. I almost got drowned on a bright summer afternoon when I tried splashing away in the tranquil sea. Tranquil you know very well because we know the word tranquilizers. You know? So all because, okay, so what he's trying to say is he, he was trying to swim in the cool sea, in the tranquil sea, in the phlegmatic ocean. All because nature's mood suddenly changed and it got me thinking. 
so what happened was suddenly the mood of nature changed and suddenly kind of a storm came suddenly the waves became big suddenly he started drowning and then he had to literally struggle and get to the shore and that got him thinking and then he started his philosophy okay yes during lockdown we have been enjoined to connect or reconnect with nature for the sake of our mental health okay we are urged to leave behind a world mediated by screens get out into the green stuff green stuff bole to bahar mein green curtain nahi hai jo educators ke piche wala hota hai no green stuff bole to we are talking about going all out into the nature we are urged to leave behind a world mediated by screens get out into the green stuff breathe some air see some horizons wonderful advice it is too and i have heeded it so what he is saying is that during the lockdown we have been asked to go out more and more into the nature not no not this way ki ha lockdown hai to aap bahar jaiye waisa nahi during the lockdown we have been asked to connect more with nature means once you are done with the lockdown and once you are kind of uh, uh, what do you say once you are done with your staying cooped up inside the home once you are done with the quarantine or staying in isolation or whatever people are emphasizing more on connecting with nature then do you see a change of tone over there it starts with but yes piyush people have been uh, kind of uh, everybody has been encouraging everybody else to plant more trees to go all out and kind of support nature and everything take a look at the last paragraph on the screen which starts with but but for all the exhortations about connecting with nature there is a paradox now whenever there is a there is the word paradox or irony or metaphor that is a question pocket you all have done this with me we are in the middle of the single biggest global upheaval since the second world war its purpose then there is a colon precisely to disconnect us from nature or from the tiny fragment of it known as covid 2 the nature we are invited to connect with is ordinarily a small picturesque and highly managed subset of the wild world so the tone of the author suddenly changes in the last paragraph and what he finally says is that in this particular world what we are encouraged to connect with the nature that we are asked to connect with is just a small picture is just a subset of the actual wild wild nature the actual nature is not so benevolent the actual nature is not so cool or beautiful it's actually wild wild out there is to connect to a part of the nature which is beautiful or trees hai or bluebells hai or yahan pe rainbows hai or yahan pe clouds hai dew drops hai that is what he is talking i hope this part is clear to you all a question is coming up i have given it to you on the left hand side already so you can select hand side already so you can start thinking why does the author mention mention the second world war this is a typical cat mein aksar aata hai why has the author brought in that particular thing why has the author mentioned that as a question rehta hai aksar okay chalo guys Are you are you all set? Shall I take you over to the next slide for the options to this question? Why does the author mention the Second World War? Yep. Okay. Take a look now. Option one: to prove that the Second World War, World War was a contrast to the pictures world we live in. To, to compare and demonstrate. Read it, guys. Come on, Satyam, Pranjal Agarwal, Shubhangi, Suhret. Check it, please. Guys, is there a lag from my end? Because my connection here shows wrong, so I'm not aware of it. If it is, please let me know. Yes. All right. The answers have started pouring in. Pyle Sena says B. Tanish Shrutej. Everybody says B. Yes, indeed, it is B. Excellent. So this time, this time, you guys did not goof up, and that's a wonderful thing. I'm so so happy. Very good. Yes. Why has he mentioned World War? If we go back and if we check over there, we are in the middle of the single biggest global upheaval since the Second World War. Its purpose, World War's purpose, nahi. No, 
he is talking its purpose bol raha hai to that is the pandemic ka purpose precisely to disconnect us from nature right so this upheaval this particular upheaval that we are facing right now that has been compared to the second world war just to show how big it is what gigantic proportions it has gone up to this is what he is saying no other reason so yes it is b to compare and demonstrate that the pandemic has moved the world on a gigantic scale just like the war did why can't it be a to prove that the second world war war was a contrast to the picturesque world we live in no the second world war was not a contrast to something that pic picturesque world has been taken from the last line just to set a trap take a look at c to assert his point that nature can bring global upheavals when the picturesque world be starts becoming wild that is total world word play yes you all know what word play is so definitely c is word play a is weird and b is indeed the answer perfect so you have understood so far what this passage is trying to drive home it started with an exp uh, experience of the author and incident in which he almost drowned then he came down to some part of, about nature that okay we are supposed to connect and blah 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 nature is supposed to be this supposed to be that and then he came down to the third portion in which he said but actually the nature that we did, that we know is beautiful but then it's only a subset of the actual wild nature which is more intimidating than we know fine i'm taking you over to the next portion over here i have just given you a preposition thing don't go over to it right now read the paragraph first when i finally made it back to shore on that lovely summer's day let's see what the what the main idea is kidhar pahunch raha hai aur shaken relieved slightly embarrassed it was after having tussled with another kind of nature this is nature as blind and indifferent process that some of forces animate and inanimate at work in the physical world some we get to see some we do not get to see this version of nature is operative within and without us right this is the nature we encounter in earthquakes and slide landslides right but also in cancer the anopheles mosquito and sars cov2 it is also the nature that darwin famously recoiled dash in parasitic wasps those gracile insects gracile means slender patla those gracile insects that paralyze their hosts before laying eggs inside them to ensure living need for the emergent young precisely the nature that shook darwin's belief in a beneficent and omnipotent god so basically this whole paragraph is trying to show you the different aspects of nature nature ye bhi hai nature ye bhi hai earthquakes mein bhi hai landslides mein bhi hai cancer mein bhi hai anopheles mosquito mein bhi hai and abhi jo covid 2 hai usme bhi the wasps who wasps you know those wasps which kind of lay eggs which are very harmful which are which are like poisonous usme bhi nature and that made darwin's belief change this is what he's saying so if you take a look at the preposition recoil dash recoil ka matlab hota hai shrink back in horror when darwin saw he was like uh oh, what is this this is what he did this is recoil so recoil is not up no guys you re recoil from something in horror or terror okay recoil from something in horror or terror shrink back in horror got it so all of you got all of you said up or with which unfortunately both are not the answers okay taking you forward now so you have understood the flow of the passage and you have understood what this paragraph is trying to say let me take you forward yes it is from guys thank you for comprehending it so quickly now the last paragraph and then a question coming up the bumper question the last paragraph is if we over sentimentalize nature take a look at that see it exclusively as a place of beauty harmony and healing we will be mistaken we risk misjudging its extraordinary power getting that guys covid has brought home to us means it has proved to us how natural processes are unconcerned with human well-being and can slaughter 
Look at the big word that, that has been used there. And can slaughter on an unprecedented scale. Unprecedented means ab tak hua nahi hai. It is essential that we develop a more clear-eyed and honest view of the complexity of our relationship to the natural world. No need to be so starry-eyed. No need to look at the world through rose-colored spectacles only. We do not need to be starry-eyed about it in order to protect and preserve nature. In fact, now you know very well wherever there is this phrase, in fact, it is a question pocket. That means it is asserting something. You need to focus on that point. Yes, my young, in fact, a healthy respect for nature's destructive power, like seafarers have for the sea. Some of them, they kind of, they are aware of the, the powers of the sea. They know that the sea can sail them smoothly to their destinations or if mood kharab hua, so the sea can also drown them. So they reckon with the power of the sea. It's better to kind of be prepared. This is what he's saying. Seafarers have for the sea could improve our stewardship. We'll be able to handle nature better. We know, for example, that blithe encroachment into natural habitats is one of the things that encourages viruses out of the woods and into our bodies. The last line. Do you realize how he's connecting the last line with COVID? He is taunting over there. He is kind of being a little, uh, he's, he's being slightly sarcastic about how we meddled with the bats habitat and that's how we got the COVID thing, right? So take a look at the whole paragraph and you have already understood the flow of the passage. You have understood the main idea. So now we are moving on to the last question. He did means paid attention to Pranjal Agarwal. Okay, yes, bilkul light nahi lene ka hai nature ko. Fine Shruti, over to the last question of this session. What would the author agree with? Take a look at the words. Be careful with word play. Check out extreme words if needed and give me the answer. Yes, Nidhi. Surat. Paridhi. Ayantika. Come on, guys. I'm expecting the right answer from all of you. Because if you have understood the flow and the main idea thing, you should be able to get it. Starry-eyed Priya is like only optimistic. Oh, this is good. This is good. This is good. If someone puts it in front of me, I'm like, oh, it's a benefit. It's good. Okay, this is such a beautiful blessing of nature. That is all crap. It's better to know what is harmful and what is beneficial. All right. So unanimously, it is A. Pranjal Agarwal says B. Okay. Fine. Great. Wonderful. You guys got it. It is A. The whole passage has been hollering about how we should acknowledge nature in both its forms. It's not just beauty. It's scary too. It's sorry, I need adjectives over here. So it's not just beautiful, it's scary too. It's not just beauty, it's terror too. All right, so the natural world is a place of both bluebells and deadly viruses. And bluebells are considered to be beautiful, that is why he has taken that. Over sentimentalizing it is dangerous, or kind of over glorifying it. Looking at it only through your rose colored spectacles is not good. This is what the whole passage has said. Why not be a uh, Franzel? Nature is a true blessing from God. And the more we connect with it, the better we are able to see its beauty and understand its benign power. Benign is benevolent, kind. This is just one side of it. This is what the author is saying we should not do. So B is one aspect of it. It's out. Take a look at C. COVID has reminded us that our relationship with the natural world, world is strained. Totally strained. Nature can kill with indifferent promiscuity. That is totally the other end. B is one end. C is the other end. Extremes. So we are not supposed to go with extremes. We are supposed to go with the balanced one. So yes, Shruti. Yes, Kirti. It is supposed to be the balanced one. And that's why it is A. Hope you guys enjoyed the passage. I really did when I was preparing it for you all. 
because it opened our eyes to something which we generally tend to overlook. We always say, huh, nature, are jungle may be telling it, but nature, yaar, nature, yaar, nature, the more we connect, the better it is. But then why cannot we accept this? That yes, there are certain aspects of nature which can be detrimental too. There are certain aspects, so long you don't meddle with it, it's not going to harm you. But the moment you meddle with it, it's going to kind of come over to you and it's kind of going to, and you are going to face the repercussions. I really love the last two lines, the way he connected. We know, for example, that careless encroachment into natural habitats. Encroachment. Aap ja rahe hai, encroach kar rahe hai, into natural habitats of certain other creatures, which is not supposed to be your domain. You're not supposed to trespass there. But if you do it, it is one of the things that encourages viruses out of the woods and into our bodies. And that is exactly what we're facing right now. All right, guys, that brings me to the end of this session, the Success Mantra. Please, please, please join an academy and the referral code is up there, Shabana Live. And yes, there is this bump, bumper offer going on for CAT 21. If you buy a six-month subscription today, you will get a subscription till CAT 2021. This is what the offer says. So go for it. But yes, you know, referral code concept use karna, Shabana Live. I'm going to meet you later today. We've got a class at 11, special class. And in that, again, we are doing reasoning-based paragraphs. So come over, guys. I'll be posting the class schedule, I think, in five minutes. Okay? Take care.